Hey there, Mission Control. Well, tonight, uh, this is my third project tonight. If you kind of been following along these last few videos, you kind of tell. And this is all one evening, just a bunch of videos, and I'm putting it all together for you. Uh, so I got to start building the uh, remaining six grow beds tonight. My goal is to get two of them done. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, but I got the wood, got it all delivered, and just got to get everything set up and start cutting. So let's get to it. New grounding rods for the destroyer. Pilot holes first. Pilot holes first. Well, there's one built, and now I just got to get it inside. Well, you know the saying, measure twice, cut once? Well, I find that saying to be very, very prudent right now because I assume that the 12 foot board I bought was actually 12 feet, but it's actually uh, a little bit longer than that. So I got this thing all built. I didn't measure, I measured zero and didn't cut. And now I need to do a little repair in place. Now you might be asking how come I didn't build these all right in here and the reason is I, I did this last year and I got sawdust over everything. It gets in the water, it stays in there a long time. So I'm repairing this right now but I'm not going to build them all in here. So I just got to trim this one 
drill it, screw it back in, flip it over, do that side, and we're done. We're out of here. Minimal sawdust. But in case you're wondering why I just don't build them right in front and then lift them up, it's because I don't want the sawdust everywhere. Okay, I got his haircut done. Now it's time to put it in place. Okay, there we go. Let me show you. So we get that all put in first. Get them lined up here. There we go. Nice. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go cut the next one and get it in place, and then we gotta get the pond liner and put it in. Okay, well I just got the second one uh, built and put in, and now we need to go get the pond liner and lay it down. Okay, so staple gun, pond liner, get the back side in first, and the hardest part are these darn corners. And what you gotta do, I learned this the hard way, you gotta make sure when you put your fold in it, that, so I made this mistake, like right here, see that? I folded it over like this, and then water came in right on the side there. So you wanna make sure that you take it all the way up into the corner, There we go. See, now water would have to come all the way up here in order to get in. Make sure that's set down into it. Razor blade now. You don't cut it all the way down. Staple, staple. I like to cut it as little as possible. Go, fold that over. Okay, once you get the back side all done, you go back to the front and then we have all the extra that needs to be trimmed. Pretty, pretty. So now we just work our way from there, all the way around, and back over to there. A little bit of extra Inside of here is good because when the rock gets in it'll it'll weigh it all down So you don't need to make it like perfectly tight By the way, I'm just telling you how I did it and that may not be like the best way It's just how I figured it out. I am not like a professional uh, upholsterer and that's what you really kind of need to be to do this so uh, For those that are professional upholsters. I'm not trying to take your job or anything. I'm just trying to get this done What I'm doing here is I'm setting my first fold on this side, get everything right, and then I'll start cutting everything. Get this fold in and I'll start cutting everything. I just gotta make sure there's enough inside of here so when it tightens up with the rock, it doesn't pull everything out. I do a double fold right on the edge here, not just a single makes it look nicer and gives a little more strength too. Okay, now we just gotta work it all that way. Okay, so I got this one done. All I have to do is drill the hole in the center and put the drain in. And now I gotta go put the uh, liner into the next one. Um, I'm gonna go get that liner done and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to do all the holes and everything. But I also wanna take a moment, this is um, 
pond liner, you buy it in this, uh, this size, that's why I have to trim it so much. Uh, it comes, uh, this is a small size that is big enough to fit in these beds, you have to trim it. It's also uh, food and fish safe. Uh, it doesn't leach chemicals or anything like that, just in case you were wondering. So, uh, let's go get the next one done. Well, sadly, the battery on my uh, camera flashes out, but you see this, got the main drain pipe, and I've got my, uh, I drilled the hole through the center, and now I just got to screw this in, put some silicone on it. I found that silicone is best because the rubber gaskets that you can buy, they tend to get caught up and pushed out of the way where the threads are at in between the bed. They, it kind of gets crimped in there and it's just not good. good. Now you need a setup like this one here because it creates back pressure underneath. So this connects to the bottom side of this and then the water comes down, creates a little back pressure so the siphon can get started. Around the edge, put uh, silicone around it. Show you. There we go. Got silicone right around the edge there. Put the outside on, and we just set a rock, rock on it. it. And that rock is on there to help uh, the silicone dry in the right location. Uh, I found if you don't put the rock on it, the silicone can dry kind of weird. And then when you put the rock in and it actually settles to this position, uh, the silicone separates from the uh, pond liner, and that's El Bado. Uh, it's a lot brighter now tonight, and you can see that I got the uh, beds into lane one here, and we got them all uh, lined, and we have the sealant put on, so everything there is sealed nicely. Let me show you. There you go. Nice seal. So now this goes like that. And then you put that in there. Perfect. Life is good. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on uh, Facebook and on Twitter. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian going to the next project. Out.